everybody, it's Abe again, and uh, we're here with another 3D pen project, so Mint 3D printing pen project. And uh, today we're in the kitchen instead of downstairs because we're going to do something kitchen related. So this is an idea I've had for a long time where uh, we're going to go ahead and try to make a frame to put a paper towel over a bowl. So these are my kitchen bowls, or the kitchen bowls that we use. And um, if you've ever made soup in the microwave, you'll know that sometimes the soup can splatter. And so what we like to do is, or what, rather what I like to do, is put a paper towel over the bowl um, so it covers the soup so it splatters, it doesn't get, you know, soup splatter all over the inside of the microwave. However, in most cases, uh, when I've done this, especially if you leave it too long, the paper towel will collapse into the bowl and into the soup and then start siphoning out the side. So instead of having soup splatter everywhere, um, you have soup running out of the bowl everywhere. And maybe we'll show you what that looks like later. So what I propose to do, I'm going to take one of these saucers that matches the bowl. Uh, I'm going to put this over the top. And we're actually going to build a frame. I'm going to try that a PLA first uh, just to see. I don't think that'll be a problem in the microwave, but we'll go ahead and build a frame out of PLA to uh, basically put the paper towel over and then kind of clip it down so that when I put this bowl in the microwave with soup in it, I don't have to worry about the paper towel falling into the bowl and into the soup. Had the idea for a while, don't know if it's going to work exactly, but uh, hey, it gives me a chance to try to build something useful with the PLA pen, or rather with the 3D pen. So let's see if we can do that. These are latched on a little more than I wanted them to be. That's hard to get off this thing. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I do hope I can remove this thing without breaking it. I think it'll be okay. Hi, Lincoln. Yeah, I'm on the camera. All right. All right, so yeah, get that back on and off. So let's trim those filaments off, and then let's see if it holds a paper towel, and see if it holds up in the um, in the microwave. Okay, it took a few minutes to remove most of the filaments, and uh, you see we've got our little frame here. It's not the strongest thing in the world. <laughs> I love the kids. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back on our bowl here. It seems to work. Um, and I've got water in the bowl, which you may or may not be able to... Yeah, there you go. You can tell. 
So I've got water in the bowl and we're going to perform a microwave test to see how this works. So standard, I use whole square paper towels. And let's see, if we drape it over like this, it's not really a way to clip it, but it holds on the bottom of the bowl. So let's go ahead and test this out with our microwave. So usually I have microwave soup for like 90 seconds, sometimes a little longer than that. And we'll see what, and we'll see what happens. Okay, what happened after 90 seconds? Well, does it look like we got any water in there, and this thing held up okay. So, I guess I can have lunch now. Well, that was such a flaming train wreck that the footage literally would not transfer to my computer and deleted itself upon the first time I tried to transfer it. it would transfer, cancel the transfer, it deleted itself in the process, there's no way to recover it. But basically what happened was, um, I so I microwaved my soup, soup was nice and hot, kids were requiring attention at the same time, so it sat in the microwave with the cover on for quite some time, maybe mm, five, eight minutes, soup was still warm. And in that five to eight minutes time, the dome collapsed itself in, uh, making that unsuitable. I mean, I guess I could make another one, it didn't take that long to make, um, but part of the whole purpose of that was that it would hold its shape if left alone. So. PLA soup cover. Nope. Epic fail. Well, not epic fail. It didn't catch on fire or anything, but but fail. Um, we'll try with ABS. I don't know what the implications are as far as toxicity of ABS, but that'll be another video another day. So, hopefully you guys found this useful. At least it was kind of a cool design that we, uh, we created there. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you want to see more interesting content that uh, we'll call it some experimentation with the 3D pen. And um, have a wonderful day. See you all next time. Bye for now.